It's that. Ooh, ah. I don't understand what's happening. Uh, the aliens are coming! Hello, welcome back to another episode of We Talking About. Today, we're going to be talking about episode 7, I won't say of season 1, uh, I Zombie. But by not saying it and saying you're not saying it. Does that make it, it even worse? That's like saying it twice. Perfect. Every At the start of all of these, he says, season one, episode whatever. And I thought this was only one season and we don't let like, the show's not great. So we're like, fuck, we have to. But we've, we've committed. We're going to see this through. And, and, and I'm glad we did because things happen in this episode. So it was actually <laughs> more interesting right, guys, than so last episode. Where does this one start, Lee? This episode starts with kids in the woods. Yes, like kids all... underacting in the woods. Underacting or acting? What do you mean underacting? It just it just felt really bad. Okay. It was like it was like, come on, short stack, drink it up. Should I finish it so we can play spin the bottle? I'm a bitch. How about you? Yeah. What's that? <gasps> and you think it's a zombie, but it's not. Goonies never say die. No, they. It's kind of a fake out, right? Cause like she's sort of like, uh, help or whatever. But it's just yeah. a, it's just a chick. She dies. But she shows up, and she's been missing for a long time, and that's yeah. the dead person this week. Do you know who that is? That's something, something, make something. Emily, I didn't write down her last name. Emily Sparrow. Yes. Jack Sparrow's daughter. Captain Jack Sparrow's long lost uh, niece. Do you know who that is? She's pregnant. She says, "Help us." Yeah. So like, you get faked out twice. Cause one, you think it's a zombie. Then you realize it's not a zombie. She falls down. You think dead, and you think she's gonna turn into a zombie, but she doesn't. And she says, help us, and then you think that might mean something, and then they pan down and she's pregnant, so you think it means that for now. Yeah. Whatever. Um, so then something very interesting happens. We cut back to the main part of like the episode where all the action happens with our main characters and all that stuff, mm -hmm. and it was as if the writers of the show like woke up and were like, wait a minute, we have to address all these things or something yeah. like that. It's a lot of the things that we've been complaining about or whatever. So... The main character launches it, Liv, the Liv. main character, launches into this main thing about how the ID card reader needs to be repaired, and they actually yeah. say, because Blank can just walk in here whenever he wants, we don't want that to happen, and we fucking talked about that, where it's like, wait a minute, he, like, I know it's just a set, but you can't just have a character show up randomly, that's crazy talk or whatever. But even if that, uh, that was broken, aren't usually like the morgues for like the police and whatever, like under the police station or like somewhere or in a hospital setting? Or Yeah, all I can think is that there's a corridor or something where you can get in because that's where the bodies have to get wheeled in or some, some crazy thing like that. Regardless, they addressed um, that in this one finally, so they're, they're, they are fixing that, so there should be no more pop-ins. I guess I don't know why I don't know why you would address. We it haven't now. seen him in an episode, so yes. you know. I don't know. I don't know why you would you, you would mention it now. Uh, again, just because someone on on like the team was like, "Wait a minute, this is this this doesn't make sense." There's something like that. Yeah. Because unless it's gonna come into play later. Didn't we show them buzzing in? How did he get in? I don't know. Fuck. Throw throw three words at it. Good. Make some words so they have a little thing. But uh, so she eats the brains of the pregnant uh, missing girl who was found and then died immediately, and she becomes super motherly or yes. whatever. Something That's, real quick I have to chime in with. Yes, please. So she's eating all these brains, right? They're cutting heads off, you know, like eating brains. Yep. Maybe putting the head back on, maybe throwing it away, maybe using it in a bowl, whatever. But is it not possible any of these people will ever have an open casket? So I don't know at all. I don't understand. I thought about that during this episode, actually, as well. Because their body, a lot of these look fine. Like, they're going to have open yeah, caskets. and I've been thinking about it on and off, and I've been kind of wondering. Because there was one episode where she even, like, the person's impaled through the eye, and she kind of eats the brains off of the thing or whatever the fuck. Uh -huh. I don't know if she's sucking it out or what she's doing or whatever. But they make a big deal out of her cutting, right, with the knife thing. With yeah, the, the bone saw. saw. So, fuck. I'm like, I, yeah, I, I don't know. You would think of all people, a girl who's missing for a long time, and they have, like, a big memorial and the loving parents and all that shit. I don't know if you yeah. can just be like, yeah, well, because it's like we had to do an autopsy, I guess they can just of, say. Of her brain? I think after an autopsy, you might be all messed up and they take you apart or something like that. I feel like that's usually in, like, this whole region. <laughs> that's what that's what you usually see. I don't know if that's included somehow. I, I literally don't know. I'm not saying I don't no, know. It, just, like it, it felt very strange to me. It's a, it's like a part of the show that is very strange. Because I don't know if we're just supposed to believe that, yes, she has free reign. Two episodes from so, now, they're going to say, what about the open caskets? Honestly, for one episode, it would be nice to have that. Because be they like make a it seem that like they take the body and they bury it themselves or something. And it's like that's not how it works. Maybe with like yeah. a John Doe, there's like the city takes it away, and I can see like her doing that to homeless people or something, where there's not yeah. going to be anything. But all these are like that's high, pro high profile murder cases. Like yeah, because like yes, if like if like a random person, because like you see like you, you'd see like Agent Scully on the X Files, like like weighing the liver and weighing the brain and yeah. doing all that shit. But the, yeah, they don't do that when like there's people there waiting for the body to do something with it, right? That's crazy. Yeah. I think that's when it's like mysterious death. How did this person die? Yes. All of her deaths have not been mysterious. 
Not to the degree that you Maybe would gooey brain world. dude when they found out it was peanut dust, but he was already fucked. I know. Um... Uh, she has a vision that she was locked up or something. Her parents are yelling at her, so you, for a while you think it's the yeah. parents that are doing all the stuff or whatever. Red herring. Uh, she visits her, the baby and sees her own mother there, and we get some weird stuff that she, you know, so yeah. our main character has a mother, she has a whole family, there's all this bullshit going on. It's this horrifying thing where they keep adding these characters and taking them away and back and forth. The mom works in the hospital, uh, the baby unit apparently. Yeah, which I don't think was even said. You now. knew she worked in the hospital. I don't think they okay. said what, what department. But she has now a paternal instinct is what she has taken from oh, yeah, this yeah, brain. She... So she wants to see her baby. She wants to take care of other people. She wants you to be her baby. Yeah. So I was going to say, so that's we should, we should reinforce that, that that's the superpower this this week is she's like licking her finger and fixing Rubbing people's face and combing and stuff your hair and, and whatnot. Saying, you should, you know, have you eaten lunch? I'm worried about you and all that stuff. Which I don't even know at this point if I'm if I'm if I'm insulted by anything that ever happens on this show. If I could no, ever it, be, it's it's so beyond um, insulting that it's it, it can't insult me. It's kind of like ah, uh, whatever, fine. At least we know that that the dead girl cared about her baby and was not a psychopath. Yeah, whatever. Um, we got a little blip there of Major working with the reporter, but we'll get more into that later uh, because Lowell stops by um, for his testing with uh, Robbie. Yes, and them because uh, they're looking for a cure. Uh, for zomb for zombism and all that stuff. Yes, the brain he has recently eaten has made him a scientist. Made him super uh, super smart or whatever, and super something else that I'll tease. Because then they start testing uh, the rats. I want to mention the rats. I want to get into these yeah. rats. They're uh, they're mixing them with a certain mix of percentage of the drug. What is the drug called? Unicorn or something? Uh, Utopium. Utopium and and that like energy Max drink. Max Rager, the energy drink. Yeah. So. Throughout these last set, you know seven episodes, here and there, and like in two episodes ago, I think it was, we, we got this Max Rager drop, mm -hmm. and, and I think we actually said, that would be crazy, because they kept saying the name like a million times, and said there's ingredients in there, and it makes you go crazy, or something like that, and it was like, well, it, this may have something to do with it, I don't know if I'm giving them too much credit, not enough credit, no, it turned out to have something to do with and it. And their naming is amazing, so Live More, our lead zombie, Max Rager, our zombie virus, <laughs> Well, the, the, the name of the energy drink that apparently has to interact with the drug Utopium to In turn you into percentage. a zombie or something like that. Yeah. So he's doing tests. They're talking about rats. She's like, I love this rat. I'm going to name him. It's going to be all good or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, when she's talking to the mom at some point, um, she hands a like job application to Blaine's butcher shop to Liv's uh, younger brother. Mm -hmm. So that's planted as a thing that will now happen, that he will go there and look for a job and uh -huh. get exposed to something or get wrapped up in that. I hate him more than I hated Major, who I don't hate now just because he doesn't make the cut. I hate so many other people that I, I he's been pushed over the line yeah. of hate or something like that. He's just neutral to me now. But in addition to her little brother having a connection now to that fucking thing, Major now also knows that that is the place that the Candyman works. Right, so let's want to dive into the Major just, plot just line to, here. Just I didn't yeah. want to forget those two things. We, we, we have two people that now know uh, of this butcher shop and potentially have tie-ins and bullshit to yeah. it. Yeah, so I think let's, uh, this is a good time, I guess, because it's kind of like independent or whatever. So I said uh -huh. Clive was working with this reporter. Clive is the cop the, the, that, yes. that Liv's been solving cases with. He's been working with this reporter. Clive, uh, they, they call Clive, and in, like, in a move that I can only describe as unrealistic, he says something over the phone that then she gets to print in the newspaper. Yeah. I thought there was some thing about like I'm, you know, you're off the record, you're on the you have record. Get to say that, yeah, I'm like, pretty sure. On, like you have to say I, you're being recorded or so. I don't know how that works or whatever or like something, whatever. But nothing about the show is realistic, so it's fine. That's fine. But then he's getting shit or whatever, and that you know turns the whole like like direction of his he gets case. Gets demoted to like a uh, fucking desk duty. Yeah, he's already on desk duty. Worst desk, de you know, desk duty, I yeah. guess. But uh, that leads Major to 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 like gumshoe on his own or whatever the fuck. Um, including breaking into the car. Yeah, he just smashes the window and starts going through the guy's shit. And he literally says, like, I have an idea, or like, like hold on, I know just the thing. And then literally just brute force with a tire yeah. and smashes the fucking guys. So the guy that fucking knocked him the fuck out before has, like, ducked into, I forget what, where he's at. Or Tanning before. salon. Tanning salon. That's hilarious. And literally in his car, he finds right hot sauce and like, hot sauce and hair and, dye, like, hair and dye. Shit like that. So it's like, okay, so hot sauce. It turns out, yes, is just the thing that tells you that he's a zombie, which is the dumbest thing ever because people like hot sauce. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, um, but not not everyone. Only zombies. Only zombies in this world like hot sauce to the point where they would carry it around with them. And I and 
I don't carry around my own hot sauce, but I... Uh, Not a zombie. I could see people, though, who like their hot sauce actually carrying it. It's crazy. And like um, a holster on their belt. Just like, I, I come prepared. <laughs> just take care of it. Yeah. But the cops show up. Yes, they do. After he breaks you know, in, into the car. Almost instantly. The cops show up. They, uh, they, they start to arrest him. He says, wait, wait, this man's car. There's a human brain in it. And just then the guy comes out, no tanner than when he went in. And, uh... <laughs> And he, he's, like, he's like, he's like, hey, and they're like, hey, hang on. And they, they go into his property and they search it, which, A, that wouldn't happen either. And then, uh, B, he gets himself out there by saying, it's calf brains. I work at a hoity-toity restaurant. Drops plug of, of place he works at. Just in case you hadn't, just in case earlier when you saw the job application, you didn't make the connection. In the yeah. same episode, we, we then show the business card just so that you know, right? For some reason, we couldn't show the actual place. We had to do this. To like make we also haven't shown our, our Mr. Candyman Maybe in he two was episodes. not available in this episode. Maybe he has a different contract. But huh. he, so he like talks his way out of it even though he's like a mook henchman and yeah. then does like a wink right in front of the cops to Major to like fuck with him or something like that. Yeah. Very weird. Well, I and, think that's to say like, hey, I'm going to kill you later. Well, yes, but like that seems like a risky, I, I, I guess that is in character because it's dumb or whatever, but I feel like he's not like a slick talker guy. He was no. hired or taken to be like brute muscle force man or whatever the fuck. My mind went to he's going to say it's monkey brains. Monkey brains. No, I don't know. Like, I feel like if if someone's being arrested and they accuse me of something, I can be like, what the fuck is he talking about? This guy's crazy. Get him out of here. And they'd be like, yeah. And they would, like, take him or whatever. Yeah. You wouldn't even have to do all this or whatever. Um, Major Major ends up in jail. We'll, we'll, we'll wrap that up later or something like that. But uh, he's having fun yeah. investigating the case of these missing kids or whatever. Um, Clive, in his paperwork duty find some shit that's like registered to the Sparrow family that isn't uh -huh. their main house and they, and they go to investigate that. Mm -hmm. They go to investigate that. They go into the basement because they hear a noise like clunk and he's like, that sounds like a woman screaming. <laughs> Let's go down yeah. there. And uh, they go down there and promptly the man who owns the house comes down and he uh, like, you know, locks the door so they're trapped in there. He calls the police, Clive, his contact, and says yeah. like, hey, I got the, I got some suspect trapped in my fucking you know cellar. Come here and get him. Funny story. You should mention that. Yeah, funny you should mention that. We're like we're the, and then and then yeah. and then like in a movie where like it like cuts away and it cuts back and two people are kissing. This was like it cuts from like yeah funny story to them like having oh, cocoa. Oh, like since it, yeah they're just like on the couch yeah. just chilling and I'm while like, they were in the basement though yeah, they did see that he was carving a uh, yes. a cradle for for a baby which is you know very strange considering his, his daughter went missing before that would have ever been a thing but it, it's also not that strange because no. you could just already have one they did have a daughter themselves they could have had a uh, a hand carved yeah yeah I mean there were like wood shavings that were trying to make it seem like he was making the crib eh, like right then they can make whatever they want I see where they were going with that uh, but it is dumb because right because she was pregnant and went missing and he could and he actually like that's his excuse while they're trying to misdirect you right yeah that he's like call it grief call it foolish hope I just thought you know Thought was like ready for it, and when you know if she came back and we uh, we had the kid, and like oh, yeah, like and whatever, and that ended up happening. So I feel like that's not even that unreasonable or whatever. But, it's uh, not. Yeah. So this is also part of this is like when he closes the cellar door, he has his dogs with him. So you're hearing like dogs barking, and like the boyfriend yeah. said there were dogs barking when the thing happened. She had a vision of like girls trapped and seeing through slats, and like a dude smoking a butt, and like dogs barking, and you're like, yeah. oh my god, it's the guy, and he tracked us and it's killing us, but it's not that at all. It is just tea. It's another misdirection, and they leave or whatever. Yeah, a lot of misdirections this episode. That's like a. It's a theme. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's the psych detective show esque like. You have to yeah. make it seem like it's this person, and then it's someone you never I'm heard of. I'm 100 percent positive for this person, and now I'm 100 percent positive for this person, and yes. now this person. But it's really old man Jenkins, someone you never read before. Ah. ah, unmasking. So Lowell, we have to take a minute out here to talk about Lowell. I think for like the last time, maybe. Sure. Because they had a, had a date planned. They did. And um, uh, Lowell's brain has left him in like a bit of a a, a bit of a state that's going to yes. impact how things go. So they. Uh, like fist bump or high five or something instead of like an embrace early on in the episode so, yeah, and so, that seems weird right, and she's so, like huh. so, right so back in the beginning she's like there were no sparks last time there were sparks oh my god what happened do you so think then, I, uh, I do you think I got friend zoned then she's like I'm gonna go right for it she starts kissing him and he's like uh, funny thing yeah, funny <laughs> I'm gay and she's like what I ate a gay brain right, but only until I have my next brain yeah so his super smart science brain, I assume, is the same brain. Yeah. Uh, was also a gay brain, and now he's like not into her that way or whatever the fuck. 
So they then go on to have, because I mentioned earlier, like, I don't even know what I can call insulting anymore. Then they have this weird, like, girlfriend's slumber party type date. Yes. Oh, where they're, like, God. dancing and eating, like, cheesy poofs and they're laughing and going, oh, I know. Kill, I know. marry, fuck with boy band uh, members. Right, weird. And he mentions, it, you know, be having the hospital for Idris Elba, um, who's a wonderful man, but that's, I don't know why he drop that no it's, it's a weird the weird whole thing. thing was super weird i was like i was like cringing the whole time like why is this happening whatever the fuck but uh that's that so if you had any doubts about like what the brains can do when you eat them or whatever anything i feel like that would be like nerve-wracking right because i don't know how often they have to eat a brain they didn't really establish that it seems like they eat them as soon as they can whenever they can yeah i wonder what that's like or how often they have to do that it's hard to really put in the gauge because you don't know what her life is like. Is every day another world win adventure? <laughs> yeah, right. Is it once a week? Is it once a month? How often are we checking in with these people? I think I think that they're leaving it vague so that you don't so that they can avoid a situation where people would say, "Well, hasn't she had to eat a brain since then, or something like that?" Yeah. Um, and he and he says, uh -huh. "I'll be gay until I have my next brain." But then, right in the same episode, she says, "The motherly instincts are starting to fade." Right. So like, yeah. it's not just like you are that until you get your next brain; it also fades out or something like that. I I believe so. Yes, but I think until I have my next brain does not mean he's finished that brain yet. Oh, he's nibbling still, right? Because so I think that's how they that do it. Mode. I think they have, like, meals to prolong it for a while. So, like, one brain could last you yes. the week. That's awesome. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because then you're not like, I just devoured this entire brain. Yeah. And fucking whatever the fuck. Yeah, I think milkshakes are probably the way to go then because you can just walk around with that instead of yeah. fucking brain in your car. All right. She has a vision uh, of, like, the girl jumping out of, like, a window. Mm -hmm. And they're like, she's going to catch you or whatever the fuck. And then we know that there's a woman involved, and it's a team. Well, so this then triggered for me, and I'm sure you, if you were watching this, they had one interview besides, like, the main thing yeah. of the show, which was an animal control lady who was a little weird. And then you're like, She called oh. them Ebony and Ivory. Oh, Detectives Ebony and Ivory, right? Yeah, and you're like, that's, yeah. and was just acting That's not fully weird. correct. No, and she was a little weird besides, she was like Mary Catherine Gallagher or whatever the fuck, she had a weird, like, aspect to her. So, uh, lo and behold, it turns out her husband is the dude from Liv's other vision with a dude who's smoking a cigarette yeah. and works animal control, right? And has the barking dogs. Well, no, dogs. she works in animal She's control. She's animal control. He's using the truck, I guess, yeah. to, like, grab chicks or whatever the fuck. Um, so this, this takes us to the stakeout cause that, because now they know where the suspect's they at. They do. So they think, okay, so the Liv's girl's there. probably there somewhere, right? We've got to go. And, like, or no, no, they, 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 yeah, they go, to this, they go to the stakeout and almost immediately they're shot at. After some nice banter about stakeouts, right? Where he's like, yeah. my first stakeout, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, no, we should go. What the fuck is this thing? I'm my mother. Yeah. <laughs> but so, like, shot out almost immediately. And then, like, they show back up with, like, three other cops. Yes. One being the police chief. It's not like your normal scenario. There's no, like, you know, SWAT team doesn't come. Yep. Like, nothing normal. And then, and then as if it's normal, the chief goes, I'll go in alone. You guys went outside. I'll let you know. And they're like, okay, sounds a good plan. I don't think that ever happens in life, ever. No, that made absolutely no sense. And uh, I, the, the whole time for this entire sequence, I'm like, this is great. This is this is retarded. This is great. Or whatever the fuck. We do get confirmation 100% he's a zombie, though. We do, we do. Right. So you said, I, I, I wrote down the SWAT. His name is Suzuki. Yeah. Suzuki SWAT team is what, is what I wrote down. Um, so actually, the thing that I liked, I, I think one thing per episode I like or whatever, uh -huh. I liked the fridge door. I I liked something else that will happen later. So, but, uh, well, so he walks The fridge door, though, is something, how do you explain that later? You don't. You can't. That's what you I hate totally about things. totally can't. No, but it's... Fine. I also don't know that a fridge door would stop bullets. I thought about that. I'm like, should we shoot a fridge? Should we figure that out? Because... I don't know about your fridge door, but like mostly they're just like foam on the inside with a thin coating of metal on the outside and plastic on the inside. Right. So like, what is that? That's not bulletproof. My fridge is metal, but I don't. Well, I, the, outside the outside is is, is a tiny like eighth of a oh, millimeter it's fridge. Fridge. It's very fancy. The more expensive you pay for the fridge, the, the less, less metal there is. quality material are made in them. Your cheap fridges from like the 1950s that might have held up. <laughs> yeah, I thought. I actually was gonna say that that this family probably has like a shittier fridge that's not fa new fancy plastic. I don't know. I liked the image because I was like, he zombied out. What's going to happen? And he was like out of a video game, just like holding the fridge door yeah. with like the, like, like the mustard and ketchup side out. 
Mm -hmm. The handle is like shooting from the side of it or whatever the fuck. Well, because the handle's on the other side. He needs the handle. But that's like such a cool, dumb, like, image of him coming at him with his zombie eyes, Uh, but shooting. I thought you couldn't, like, articulate that finely while you were zombied out. You can. Um, but the zombie out was just enough to get him to grab the to tear off the fridge door, right? And yeah, he was ready to go. Um, yeah, I don't fucking. This is a whole like mess of fucking shit. Where we'll just finish with that, I guess. The fridge door, and then he goes up and shoots the lady, right? Yeah, she's like, okay, I quit, I surrender, and he's like, and kills her like four shots. Yeah, and then so like, okay, so I wrote down, I gave the signal five minutes ago. He was in there for maybe twelve seconds. And, um, right, because even, you, even if you're super generous, right, but in my head I'm like, would not an, an alternative signal be gunshots, many gunshots? You'd Why think. would they not come in when they heard gunshots? That's insane. It's so dumb. And they eventually did, did come in when they heard like four more gunshots. Like- right? I don't know why the gunfight in the kitchen and, and the guy bleeding to death down there didn't like trigger something or no. whatever the fuck. Um, I guess we go to live now and just get that over with because she goes Liv, off on her own too. Yeah, she goes to, to free the girls from the what she realized window of the treehouse is where they're being kept. She's climbing up the, uh, the ladder. She gets shot by the wife in her leg and uh, she zombies out, beast modes through the door, finds them underneath the bed sleeping. H- hiding, I assume. Yeah, hiding. Sleeping through the gunshots just like, it oh, just, It was a whole a weird lot. thing. Ah, oh, we'll put them in the treehouse. That's like the least fortified thing in the world. Like, they're yeah. outside all the time to yell and scream and whatever. And, like, I guess There's it's no like, heat. There's no nothing. They live somewhere that, like, Seattle. Well, and it's like, I guess you can take the ladder away when you don't... Because then it's like, you can't jump out. You'd, like, break your ankle, which she did or something. Yeah. But I was like, I don't... That's not enough or whatever the fuck. No, it's very dumb. And, and like, you could just put the ladder up there and they could just, like, kick it off until, like, just keep doing that for the whole time. Yeah. And you'd be like, I'll try again tomorrow. Like... A very weird treehouse thing. I was hoping... The neighbors will see you bringing food up to this treehouse every like day. Like, constantly? Because it didn't seem like it was that remote. It seemed somewhat remote, but not No, because they, they pulled behind another building. Like, yeah, there's, like, other structures nearby. They're not all these, you know, this couple's yeah. shit or whatever. So to get shot in the leg, I was hope So, like, fucking, uh, you know, Commander Suzuki says, like, Oh, what happened with your leg there? Or whatever. And she goes, Oh, a branch or something. He goes, Yeah, not much blood. Like, he knows she's he a zombie now. Yeah, he's like, that zombie. And I was like... Did he hope in my head I was like, maybe I missed it and like he saw the wife shoot live from before he shot the wife? Did that happen? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Alright, because that would have been an easy way. Liv got shot, as far as I understand, before he even killed the husband. Like when the show was showing you yeah. or whatever? Alright. Because I really I guess a quick shot of that would have really helped me with him knowing that she's a zombie, right? Well he might not know. Okay. Because we give a show a lot of credit where it doesn't belong yeah, and, and vice versa. So, uh, moving forward, uh, that, you know, they've, they've now, their perps are dead, so that's solved. The women are there. The, uh, the boyfriend who we've not talked about this whole time, uh, you know, realizes that he's a scumbag after Liv tells him off, and he gives the kid to the parents of the, of the family. Yeah, so that's how the main case resolves, where, like, yeah, yeah um, but he was like, I'm going to do a, a, a reality show, a grieving father and a newborn baby uh-huh. and a kidnapping victim. He was like a, he was like an actual dirtbag, so that, yeah. that all worked out okay. I wanted to talk about the case, though, and, like, the cover-up or whatever the fuck. Sure. So, like, they're fucking... The, the, this, like, couple that they've now... That, that like, the chief... Chief? Cop? Lieutenant? Commander? What is this? Sure, chief, whatever. C- Captain... Captain! He's the captain. Yeah, I'll go captain with that. Captain Suzuki. Uh, fucking shoots these people. And then I think intentionally, maybe, for a while? Like, because he says uh, Eddie and Jerome were, like, among... The, you know, Clive tells Liv later that the people Major's looking for were among the bodies that they found there. Yeah, or whatever the did, fuck. He, did he specifically say their names? I yes. remember him saying I the bodies. I definitely heard Jerome, and that's definitely the person. No, but yeah, because Liv says, um, "Oh my God, uh, we should, you know, we have to tell Major. Uh, I, I don't want him to find out on the news or something like mm. that." I think I'm gonna put like the twelve pictures up of all like the missing people whose like remains yeah. were found there. So, like, as far as I know, uh, Captain Suzuki's making that up, and like they didn't have this weird religion with s- human sacrifice. And this is just like a zombie, like the zombies have infiltrated the government and are like covering up the zombie thing, like when the vampires and Blade were like or he was, covering up the things or whatever, yeah. Or he was turned by the Candyman, the Candyman said like, I still have the bones, here, throw them in the backyard. 
Right, but I'm like I'm so puzzled, and maybe they won't get into it. Maybe they will, like you just said. We give them more and less credit. I don't know if they're gonna like explain, like at what point. I don't think so. Were the remains planted? Like when would this happen? What the fuck is happening here? Um, but the long story short is, it's it's being used to cover up what Major and like Clive have been pushing for from the very beginning, which is like we have to you know investigate all these missing persons that are happening yeah. by the skate park, and and now they're like, well, it looks like that's what was happening. And they're trying to like, we also don't know how many cops are in on that. Up. Well, that's what I mean. Like, how high does it go? Who the fuck is involved in the here? The presence is on me. We don't even have confirmation that like Blaine turned and is like using Suzuki, right? We just assume. No, that? we just assume it. Yeah. So this is a fucking crazy ass. But Blaine was not in this episode or the last episode. Yes. Except in photo form on the last episode. Right. So it's like, where the fuck is he? What's he doing? I assume he's still doing his thing, but that actor is not like available at the same schedule as everyone else. I guess. That's that's all I can that's imagine, weird, right? So the very end of this episode, is that where we're at now? Uh, yes. The very end of this episode, you see the rats in their, uh, in their little, you see one on the ground, and I think that was, that was the first rat, the good rat. I think so. And then you have... The control rat? Yeah, and then you have other rats are, are being eaten by the last rat, it seems. And now it's an albino rat, and it's a zombie rat, I, I didn't see which cage it came out of or whatever the fuck, right? I thought right? it was, I thought D was the one. I don't know what formula D is or whatever the D fuck. D was like 40% drug, 60% uh, yeah, whatever. That's the winning formula that makes you a zombie without having to get yeah. scratched, bitten, or whatever by a zombie. But I like this because not only uh, the one rat got out and the other one got into other cages by like bursting through the walls, so yeah. that one can get out and presumably cause other people to turn via mouse. <laughs> mouse attack. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, you know, Ravi will just be like, smack, and he'll kill it with, like, a newspaper in the first minute of the next episode. I'm interested to see what happens in the next episode, yeah. But I like that. So at least they know what causes it. They could potentially find a cure now. I can see them having, like, sure. guns filled with cure and shooting other zombies. Oh, and, like, God, yeah. So at some point, a bunch of zombies have to show up, right? You'd think. We're, like, building to that, right? At some point, Blaine is making zombies, or maybe this drug combination is going to... Because I... Not that I like anything, but I like the idea that they're not actually zombies, right? They're not, like... Yeah. They're neither Haitian, like, voodoo or whatever zombies, nor are they, like, weird virus zombies, right? They're this weird, uh, unlisted chemical Yeah, they're, they're a mid-ground. Right? This, they're weird, like, science zombies or something like that. So zombies can just happen from multiple sources. It isn't like there's, like, a king zombie they have to kill or no. some weird shit like that, right? It's just this, like, free-form thing, which is crazy and makes no sense. That's fine. But also, uh, yeah, we have a, an albino rat that's going to run around and fucking, like, bite people or something like that. We have all this kind of Potentially kill happen. the world because if that gets out, it can get everything. I guess, right? And like, how many people are like accidentally going to be on this drug and drinking energy drinks? It, 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 that, that's a fun thing to do is to be on energy drinks and drugs at the same time. Yeah, but that perfect, like, like the happen. idea of, of a lot of people getting that perfect ratio are not very likely. It makes well, me wonder if Lowell actually the... got scratched or, yeah. like, or if he just woke up scratched after he had taken this energy drink and drugs. Well, he was he, he was deeply involved with the energy drink. Yeah. He hasn't really said that he's straight edge. How did the whole boat t- turn into that, though? Was the boat party sponsored by Max Rager and then Blaine showed up? I, I just Utopia? think Blaine was doing drugs and he was yeah. on the drink and he just turned and then killed him. Oh, and he just started I think I feel like people. he started. But maybe I not. feel like a bunch of people on the boat were like suddenly zombies or whatever at the same time. I have no idea, though. Well, I'm, he was handing no out idea. this drug. Yes, yes, exactly. And I feel like... And I'm making this up, but the but the boat party might have been sponsored by Max Rager, like one of those Red Bull parties or whatever the fuck. Maybe. And everybody was on it or something like that. Some we'll crazy either shit. never find out, or in ten episodes from now, they'll be like, and that party that and was it, sponsored by... There'll be like excruciating detail. Yeah. We should say before we go, because that is like the end or whatever, uh-huh. before the final thoughts, uh, Major's in jail, and like they bring in like bikers from Central yeah. Casting. And like, I say... Here's a little gift from the Seattle PD or whatever the fuck. Yeah, for yeah, and bringing that article on us. So and yeah, for like public, you know, for like the Seattle Times or whatever the fuck. And they close the door and the bikers are like sitting there. I think next episode might even open with him being like, "Oh, so then you just and he's like teaching them some dumb thing, right? Or they're all well, friends, he's a social worker, whatever the fuck, right? So yeah, I it, think I think it's gonna be this the weird. The likelihood like, of him uh, getting beaten, I think, is less than something weird happening. Something dumb because it can't be video games again, right? But it might be some dumb thing with like, what what does he know how to do? Something something horrible right and yeah. dumb and cringy or whatever the fuck uh, and the other thing is Lola ate a hetero brain and he shows yes, up he's right back. and he's ready to smash 
feeling Zombies hetero smash. already, as he says. Feeling more hetero by the moment. So they're gonna go. I, I don't know. Like she, she didn't want to have sex with Major because she might turn him into a zombie. But she can have sex with Lowell, right? She can. It's not gonna spread the zombies. Exactly. So then we're gonna have some zombie smashing going on. I'm certain we will. I assume they'll have all the meaningfulness and like class of the Jessica Jones sex scenes, <laughs> as well as just as, as well as being equally graphic. It'll pick up after them just like laying in a bed. Maybe he's smoking a cigarette. That's the of whole course. Thing. Yeah, no, no, no. I totally know. I totally know. Yep. All right. So that was this episode of I Zombie. Uh, season seven had some more outlandish things. We're uh, we're on a curve. We'll see we, where it goes. We got a little bit of action. How like would you classify this as just filler again, or are we? Is this? They're uh, all exposition. It seems uh, right. you know, building more, telling us the rules every episode. Um, it was okay. Like again, yeah. nothing good. Like nothing it's, that I'm like, oh, if, like if I would have seen this first, I'd be like, all right, whatever. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I wouldn't call it good, but this is probably like one of the best things you can do without blame, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something probably. Something like this, because we got a weird, you, you know, you're like like you're getting arrested, you're going off and investigating, you're doing this. We got rats, like shits. Something's happening at the very least. No, things are uh, happening, and I'm I'm interested to see what happens in the next episode. Yeah. I, I want to see you know how far over the shark we can jump and. Because uh... uh, honestly. Commander Suzuki, Captain, Lieutenant Commander, First Class Suzuki, him being a zombie and him covering up the zombie things or whatever, that's got me going in a whole, like, between direction that there's a whole conspiracy and this crazy yeah. shit happening. I can't wait to see what the fuck they're trying to do there. That seems super dumb. I'm super into it. Yeah. All right, guys. So until next time, don't die in a fire.